We are the grapes of France. We'll never take a bath. It is our style to seldom smile and never laugh. We are the grapes of France. So stay out of our path. There's no escape from cranky grapes. We are the grapes of France. I'm Ma. I'm Paul. This is our brood. The grumpy and we know where. That's Tom and Rosie. They're both rude. And not and afraid to show we. We're not the folks. Like to meet, we bigger by the hour. All other grapes are nice and sweet. We're really rather sour. As we go dry, big by, I might spit in your eye. Or throw a snake in your milkshake to make you cry. Oh, the grapes of wrath, so stay out of our path. There's no escape from cranky grapes, we are the grapes of wrath. There's no escape from cranky grapes, we are the one day, the grapes are out driving around in their car when suddenly they hit a bump. We must have hit a bump. Hey, what you do that for? I didn't do it. You did, you big possum head. I did not, you taco salad rabbit nose. It did too, casserole head, pimento loaf, iguana boy. Ha Now, Rose, apologize to your brother. <laughs> Well, you know he just turned 18 years old. Yeah, so? So that would make him a casserole head pimento loaf iguana man. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that, Cabbage Nose Elvis puppy. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Pa, there's somebody over there. Eh? Oh, oh you're right. Uh. Well, what kind of fella do you suppose that is, Ma? Oh, let's see. Hmm, it's no grape, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's, you yeah, know that's yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's well, yeah. Well, it must be some kind of a bean or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. huh. Well, what's that thing he's got on his head? Well, it's yellow. Um, cheese is yellow. Mm hmm. So that would make him a cheese-headed bean boy. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm not a bean. I'm an asparagus. What'd the bean boy say? He said he was a asparagus. Huh? Asparagus. A plant of the liliaceous genus. From the Greek, asparagus. And this is not cheese on my head. It is a hat. A yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crazy hair. <laughs> it looks like peas. Hey, bean boy, you been growing peas to your noggin? No. <laughs> well, that's just terrible. Don't those grapes know it's not nice to make fun of people? Well, that's just it, Bob. They didn't know how bad it made Junior feel. Well, jeepers, Larry. What happened next? Luckily, Junior's dad heard him laughing and came outside to see what all the commotion was about. Hey, what's all the commotion out here? Ooh, grapes. They were calling me Bean Boy and telling me I had peas on my head. Is that true? Oh, no, 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 we would not do such a thing as what you have said we would have done, except for maybe we did that, I guess, now that you... Oh, well, okay, we did that. Yep, that's what we did. So, Junior's dad explained to the grapes that when we make fun of people and call them names, it makes them feel very bad inside. He also told them that God wants us to be kind to everybody, and that when we act mean, it makes God feel sad, too. Well, uh, gee, I... I guess we never really stopped to think about it. Well, well, it was making you feel, you know. Yeah, we was just having some fun. Didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Didn't mean it. We'll never be mean again. Okay, that's better. Now, Junior, is there anything you'd like to say to the grapes? Um, like what? Junior's dad explained to him that when someone says they're sorry for hurting you, and they really mean it, we need to forgive them. That way, we all feel better. Oh, I get it. Okay, I forgive you, grapes. Oh, oh that's great. All right. Now, doesn't everyone feel better? Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, right. yeah. that's right. 
It's almost time for supper. Come on inside, Junior. Junior? His name is Junior? Okay, this is the last straw. I thought you said you weren't going to tease anymore. Well, that's exactly what we said. And we grapes always try to keep our promises. Well, isn't that right? Sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 right. That's right. Now, what do you kids have to say to Junior? Oh, oh sorry. I'm real sorry. Really? Oh, mighty sorry. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sorry. Sorry. Boy, I sure am glad they got that straightened out. Yep. The grapes were really sorry this time, so once again, Junior forgave them. What? <clears throat> I said, once again, Junior forgave them. Are you serious? Well, I think so. Bob, am I serious? Oh, oh yeah, Larry. Uh, yeah, you're, you're serious. Mm -hmm. You see? I'm supposed to forgive them again after what they just did to me? Well, uh, yeah. Sure, I forgave them for calling me Bean Boy and saying I had cheese on my head, but now they're making fun of my name and they've laughed when the hall almost bagged my face clean up and when the truck picked me up and threw me in the sand. And you're telling me I'm supposed to forgive them again? Um, well, are you guys really sorry? Oh, we're, we're sorry and, and we'll, we'll never do, do it, it again. again. You see, Junior, when we do bad things, it hurts God's feelings, too. God wants us to tell him we're sorry. The Bible says when we tell God we're sorry, he will always forgive us. No matter what? No matter what. Wow! That's right. And because God always forgives us, we need to forgive others when they hurt our feelings, too. Well, how many times am I supposed to forgive them? Um, well, uh, Bob? Gee, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, let's ask QWERTY. Hey, QWERTY! C can you help us? We need to know how many times we're supposed to forgive people, according to the Bible. Maybe, uh, seven times? Matthew eighteen twenty two. Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Oh, seventy times seven. Seventy times seven. I see. Um, do you know what 70 times 7 is? Mm, nope. How about you? Nope. Well, does anybody know what 70 times 7 is? Not? Well, let's see. I remember from college it was, uh, pi, pi R, hi. Oh. What was it, 2? Or maybe 7? Ooh! That's one smart grape. Well, there you have it. 490 times. Wow! So I guess we need to forgive each other, even if we make the same mistakes more than once. That's right, Junior. Now do you have something to say to the grapes? Yeah, I forgive you guys again. Thanks, oh, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Junior. You know, now that we're gonna be nice and all, I don't think we should be called the Grapes of Wrath anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, what should we be called then? The Grapes of Nice? No, that's not it. That little girl of yours has quite a head for numbers. Maybe you could be the Grapes of Math. Well, everyone was very excited about the new name, but it was time for Junior to go inside and eat supper. So, with the sun setting in the west and Rosie happily quoting the quadratic equation in the back seat, the grapes of wrath, I mean math, <clears throat> drove off to share their niceness with the rest of the world. The end.